Hi, fifth graders. I'm going to show you today how to get started with your symbol designs for your t-shirt printing. You're going to have the option between two different types of printing plates or combining them together. So I'll show you what I did. Um, this project's all about positive and negative space. Your negative space is the background or the empty space. The positive space is your t-shirt design. So one way that I did that is I taped off a diamond on my shirt and then I printed different blocks within. So if you want to break up your printing plate into different segments, you can use the negative space within your on your shirt. The other thing to note is there's two different types of plates we're making. Um, we're going to do a relief print. So one way to think about it is if you are using the foam to make a relief print, whatever you draw is going to be a sunk relief. So whatever you draw is the negative space, is the white. And then whatever you leave alone is the color. The opposite is going to happen when you're building your um, low relief with the cardboard and the flooring material. So this material can be cut to build any type of stamp that you would like. You can either leave this shape as is and maybe do two different types of prints next to each other or you can cut it into your own design as well. So I'm gonna show you a couple examples about what to do. So my personal symbols on mine were first printed with the foam. So I did these water symbols in a checkerboard pattern. And then the hearts were a low relief that was printed from a stamp. So I did two different types there. So if you are doing a foam plate, everybody just gets one. Mr. Chia bought these, so thank him if you see him. We only have 100 and one for each person. So sketch first with a pencil, um, whatever you would like. So if I'm going with my diamond theme, let's say that I do my diamond and then I have a large heart and then I break up the background with a positivity symbol. Those are the symbols that I'm going with. Um, now, anything that I carve from here, after I sketch with a pencil or a marker, anything that I press in is going to be my white space. So you can go with concentric shapes by repeating something again and again and again. This is where you want to really use um, line and line variation. Going into this, for example, and doing this positivity symbol, if I want to make it fully scratched out, if I scratch it fully out, it would then be white. But you really more want to think of this in terms of drawing those lines rather than boxing things out. So if you did want to sink this whole area in, this would all be white. Otherwise, the lines are the white, which is completely opposite in terms of positive and negative space compared to what we're seeing here. The other thing we're going to do, let's say that this is one of my symbols, and then above that I want to do something similar but a little different. So above that I'm going to now draw my, I'm going to draw a positivity sign in terms of raised arrow here. So if I have this arrow, I can also maybe do a little design inside. Let's say that I cut this piece out. I'm going to glue it. Sorry, I have to draw here. The cardboard is your base. So that was just, let's say that's a plan. The cardboard is your base. Anything that I draw here on this final is going to be my stamp. So the positive space is what you're leaving. The negative space is the empty space that you're going to cut away. And you're going to glue this here. I apologize for drawing on the wrong one. Um, we could do a cardboard um, print, but it wouldn't be as easy to cut. So that's why I went with that. We could absolutely put cardboard on top of this, but a cardboard wouldn't be as nice to cut. This flooring material was given by a parent. And I thought how perfect it would be for you guys to be able to create some relief prints. So we can really cut this material that's a 3D material really easy or organic shapes. For example, it's challenging to cut organic shapes or curved lines from cardboard, but you can easily cut that with this material. So I can print this. Think about what symbols you're using for yourself. Next time, this whole area would be um, the color of my ink if you want to have more designs, you can add those in there. 
And this top one is a little bit more simple. So think about if you're doing a diptych of two different types of prints next to each other or if you're going to combine them together and overlap them at all. Because if I printed this on top of this, it might blend too much. But I could definitely do four corners of um, circles and print those on top. So think about how you could either combine them together, use both types of positive and negative space in your printing design, um, and I will see you next time. Have a great art class. Thank you.